When it comes to Sigma women, there are certain things you should do, and there are several other things you should avoid. Since we began this series, I've been telling you what to do, how to attract a Sigma female. Even if you're as charming as Brad Pitt, if you make the mistakes I'm about to tell you in this video, you'll never have the chance to meet that woman of your dreams. Let me give you a story. Listen as I explain it clearly to you. A young man was sitting in a park when he saw a beautiful young woman reading a book on a nearby bench. He wrestled with himself from the moment he saw her, asking himself, should I walk over and chat with her? However, when he considered approaching her, bad thoughts began to invade his mind, prompting him to hesitate the toss. And before he could do anything, the young woman shut her book and walked away. He sat there, irritated and upset at himself for passing up the opportunity, but he wasn't about to give up just yet. So he began to frequent the park on a regular basis and was determined to chat with her. He decided to return the next day and approach her. The next day, as expected, he saw her again in the same spot. But just like before, when it came time to make a move, he found himself paralyzed with fear. He stood there, staring at her from a distance, unable to take a step forward. It went on like that for several days. Each time he would tell himself that today would be that day, but each time he ended up frozen in place watching as she eventually left. After approximately a week or so, he was finally able to muster the courage to approach her. Warily, he approached the bench where she was sitting and pretended to be interested in the book she was reading. He stumbled on words and spoke hesitantly. Is that a book any good? The young woman looked up, smiled pleasantly and replied, Yes, it's one of my favorites. Encouraged by her response, he attempted to continue the conversation, but his nervousness made it difficult. He could barely string together a coherent sentence, and after a few awkward minutes, she politely excused herself and left. Despite the awkwardness, he was encouraged by the fact that she did not dismiss him right away. So he returned to the park the following day, expecting to build on their previous conversation. But each time he tried to engage her, anxiousness got the best of him, and the chats continued. He struggled to hold her interest. He kept returning to the park, hoping for another chance to impress her. After many days of relentless effort, he eventually persuaded the young woman for a date. However, what followed was a total disaster. They went out a few times, but at this point, the young man had grown really connected to her. His feelings deepened, as did his insecurity. Instead of simply visiting the park, he found himself coming there many times a day, expecting to see her. His thoughts became consumed with whether or not she liked him, and his emotions swung wildly, depending on how much attention she paid him that day. He eventually felt overwhelmed by his own perplexity, and concluded that the only way to deal with his feelings was to declare them. One afternoon, after yet another brief and awkward talk, he blurted out, I really like you and I'd love to take you out sometimes. The young woman appeared astonished, but after a moment she responded flusteredly, But I really just see you as a friend. I don't want to ruin that. She left him feeling even more confused and disheartened. He thought that maybe he hadn't tried hard enough. So he continued to pursue her, but every time he brought up the idea of going out, she gently but firmly turned him down, insisting that she valued their friendship. As the days passed, she started to distance herself. She began spending less time in the park, and appeared busy every time he called, no longer engaging in their brief conversations. One day, he decided to phone her and inquire why they weren't chatting more. When he brought it up, she said she had been really busy and had a lot going on, but they could catch up another time. However, that time never seemed to arrive. So, 
Where did this young man go wrong? If you examine the issue thoroughly, you'll notice that he exhibited several characteristics of a low-value man, which eventually harmed his chances with the young woman. These are some of the blunders he made. And before we proceed, let us get this video to 5,000 likes. Number 1. He elevated the young woman only on the basis of her attractiveness and appearance. Men, never prioritize a woman only on the basis of her physical appearance. This is the most important attitude you should foster in your personality at any costs. Never show a woman that you think she's too attractive. Tell her that you don't judge people based on their appearance, but rather on their personalities. Because good looks are simple to come by, whereas personality is a rare trait. When you act in this manner around her, you will immediately be labelled as that special, different guy. And this is what the majority of Sigma women seek in a possible partner. Number two. He agreed with her far too much to keep her satisfied. Kissing up to a woman is just another awful idea that society has instilled in men. Simply agreeing with her on everything does not guarantee that she will like you. You'll simply give off a weak vibe, giving her the impression that you're attempting to get her approval or permission. If you always follow her rules and agree on everything she claims, you are implicitly signaling that you do not know how to receive the recognition you deserve from her. As a result, you are concerned that disagreement will be detrimental to your cause. You are also demonstrating that you do not think of yourself to be good enough, which makes you dread losing her. In fact, we see it all over the place when some mediocre guy manages to strike up a discussion with a stunning girl. Millions of thoughts begin to flow through his mind. He begins to worry that he must choose the correct words or risk ruining everything. When he can't think of anything to talk about, his concerns grow and he begins asking uninteresting questions like, what do you do for a living, etc. Number three. He considers whatever she says. I'll just agree to it so that I don't upset her. I do not want to come out as unpleasant after a few minutes. The girl believes this is so. How can I get out of this? She makes some lame excuses to me like, I need to excuse myself to the restroom. She departs and never returns. As you can see, not knowing what will happen next may be rather frightening, and thus lays the fear that leads many men to believe that women dislike men who disagree with them. Whereas women seek a challenge, and you will never be one if you agree with them on everything. Number four. He desperately sought after the young lady's approval and acceptance. This attitude only added fuel to his level of insecurity and pushed the girl away. A high-value man never seeks a girl's approval or acceptance. The moment a girl realizes that you are seeking her approval, she would be turned off within seconds. Always remember that attraction isn't something she has control over. So seeking approval is a strong attraction killer, and she would never show any real interest in you as long as you seek her approval. And here is how to avoid this problem. Don't talk too much. I constantly tell you this because it is really significant in my experience. When someone chats to a woman and ends up doing the majority of the talking, he becomes self-centered and tries to convince her that he is the best man she can get. Although this could happen automatically without your knowledge, that is why you should let her do the most of the talking and always focus the conversation on her. Try to make her the focal point of the conversation while leaving yourself out. In this manner, you avoid the dilemma of seeking her approval and instead make it apparent to her that he wants her from the start. This is a very important idea because I always see guys making this mistake. You must not tell the girl how you feel about her too early on. And you should not be the first one to say, I love you. The reason is that 
the moment you share your true feelings too early in the relationship. She tends to go through a strange process where she feels like she has conquered you and thinks, okay, I have him now, then what? When this happens, the tension and attraction you've built by demonstrating all the traits of a high-value man get killed. Remember, women can't control who they are or aren't attracted to. They will not be able to feel attracted towards you after they know you are into them. I think there's a video already on this topic. I will leave a link in the description for the curious once only. Let's proceed. Now the best way to deal with this is to keep them confused and insecure, which means never telling a woman whether you like her or not. As a result, as long as she has to guess what is going on in your mind, the attraction will remain. This is widely regarded as the most common error that men make while dealing with women. You see, a lady does not want you to solve her problems. As you can expect, the moment you fix her difficulties, you are promptly placed in the provider zone, which also means you are like her big brother. Trying to take care of her listening to her problems is one thing, but solving them for her is another. When you solve her issues, you are doing the work for her, which again, sub-communicates low value. Eventually, she would see you as someone she could turn to when in trouble or when she is having an emotional outburst, but she will never consider you as a potential lover. The way men and women interpret things is very different. Men feel like genuine men when they come to her rescue, but in her world, you're just another kind guy. Trying to be helpful, women do not communicate their problems with you in the hopes of finding a solution. They simply want you to hear them out. They only want you to be a good listener. Trust me, ladies can cope with their problems on their own, so don't try to solve them for her. If you're someone learning the dynamics of pickup, you're probably doing something that a lot of guys do. They believe it's vital to act disinterested in the lady, but some of them don't really understand the difference between being disinterested and being rude. The way it should be done is to first show a bit of interest and then a bit of disinterest, but never completely interest. A lot of guys act so disinterested that it's almost like they are telling the woman to go away. A woman will never stay around you for long if you just keep on showing disinterest. What it really means is that you have to show her that you are interested, but that doesn't mean you will chase her around for attention. The pattern should be a single line that demonstrates interest. Number six, never share your troubles with ladies. Discussing your troubles or problems with ladies is an excellent technique to decrease attraction. You should be tough enough to handle your own difficulties. Women want to see you solve the problem rather than simply discussing it with them. Sharing your difficulties with a lady implies that you aren't strong enough to deal with your own issues. As a result, you require her assistance or sympathy in order to feel better. Another thing you should never do is discuss your insecurities with the girl. Never tell her what you're awful at, how many failures you've had in the past, or how you still struggle with many things in life. This merely leaves a rather dull impression, which is a direct draw. Sharing your weaknesses, by the way, isn't always a turn-off. However, there is one scenario in which you can reveal your flaws. Whenever you cite your flaws, you should laugh. You should be making fun of yourself in a hilarious way, thus demonstrating that you do not care about her opinion. I will best talk about this in one of the forthcoming videos. Number seven. Never offer her directive. Yes, you heard me correctly. It will never be easy for a woman. A lot of folks get entangled in a circle that is continually saying yes to women, even when they would prefer to say no to certain requests. This is why you need to make her struggle a little to elicit a yes response from you. For example, she might say, let's go on a walk today. 
you should answer by stating something like no. First, we'll watch a movie and then go for the walk. Never say yes outright. Instead, put some conditions before agreeing, or let her seek more before you say yes. It's vital to note that this should only be done if the situation warrants it. For example, if she is sick and says, please take me to the doctor, you should not tell her to wait a few hours. Only do this for random requests, not critical or urgent ones. Number eight, never let her make you angry or irritated. If you become angry or disturbed over a girl's actions, it's a clear sign that you are not in control and she is the one who actually controls you. If her actions can make you react, then she is the one driving you. There might be times when a girl says some really nasty things to you, but you should never react by showing anger or losing your call. Be like a rock in the storm and act as if nothing gets to you no matter what. In most cases, a girl is trying to test you to see how you react in the extreme situations. If you respond as she predicted, you failed the test. And this is an extremely significant issue that I will cover in a later video. If you enjoyed this video, you will love this next one on your screen. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. See you on the next video.